make you in the face That's what I've got planned We spent last night at Harport Bay and we went over to the pub uh, when we got here. We had a meal over there which was super nice, so that's the old inn straight across the water. Uh, we obviously missed the Talisker tasting so that's why we're up nice and early this morning and we're going to head over there after we've just been to the shops to get some supplies. We're back from our Talisker tasting. Uh, it was really cool actually. We couldn't really film a lot because of the explosive fumes around. So we got a little bit which we'll edit into it. Uh, Matthew bought his own distilled distillery version of whiskey, which he's really happy about, but we won't be eating for a month now. So here he is unwrapping it. Oops, there we go. Limited edition for the distillery only. So you can only buy this bottle from the distillery, which makes me happy. One of 6,000 bottles. Yeah, I'll be drinking some of that tonight. It's a good one. This one's 48%, so a bit higher than their standard, I think. But it's uh, looking forward to trying that. Paige wouldn't let me get the crystal glass, says I have to wait till I'm in Ireland so I can get some Irish crystal. Because they're known for that. So, all in all, a good day so far. We're going to head over expensive to the pub. Day so far. Oh, yeah, expensive day so far. We're going to head over to the pub later just for a drink and watch the traditional music again. Fajitas tonight! Woo! And fajitas. Matthew's reorganising his alcohol uh, shelf to give his whiskey the prime, prime, prime location. Of course, the light can go in the cupboard. And now he's stuffing everything else in a cupboard. I'll let me Glen Village 15 to be up front as well. There we go. Happy with that. <laughs> We're just about to set off from our anchorage that we've been here two days now. We're heading over to Lock Bay. Last night we didn't actually go and listen to traditional music because we ended up sitting and watching Lord of the Rings so there isn't any footage of that. But yeah, we're back to Scottish weather. Not very nice. to put on the jibe protector to preventer. preventer to stop the boom from driving <laughs> yep funny enough and the weather's still poo and it's raining now there we go that's it all attached our red and blue right all the way around Ta -da! Yeah, wing on wing i've got the boom out the starboard side Wind coming just off the uh, starboard quarter and the do you know we're out the port side so we've got them out both sides it's called wing on wing how's it going Ronald? going all right tails have had to come back in because there's no wind three knots we just won't get anywhere we're uh, just coming around Nice Point I think it's called around the uh, and Little Minch, the traffic separation zone, so we're going to go quite close to the lighthouse to stay out of that. And you look at me, and you send me, on the world of down, you care about me, or you dress me, break your hand, you're not my trick. 
day sailing uh, we didn't have much wind so it was a bit of a stop and start kind of day and then we decided to motor the rest of the way so we're in Ardmore Bay now uh, we just stopped a fisherman and he sold us a lobster so we're having lobster tonight the weather's not great uh, it's kind of raining and murky if you can see out there but we've got beautiful views again so Matthew is reading up on how to cook our dinner Matthew's cooking Mr Lobster Have you ever cooked a lobster before? Yes. Have you? Yes. <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> We've eaten dinner and watched a movie, and now we're off in the tender round there because there's a cool little bridge out of rocks kind of thing. So we're all wrapped up in wet weather gear because it's freezing in Scotland. -y. Look at the beautiful views. All the way around. Ugh, not a beautiful view. There's a lot of jellyfish. Just landed on the other side of where Nova is, and there is so much stuff rubbish, ropes, all just gets washed up, including dead sheep, which we've seen two of now. It's kind of gross. Matthew's right. found a little bridge. I'm on the bridge, and there is so much stuff. There's plenty of shoes, so if you've got uh, no shoes, then Come along to Scotland. Shoes and bottles, there's a lot of lure pack around. back from our little adventure across the lock um, we didn't find any treasure in all the rubbish that was on the uh, beach but now we've got blankets drinks now we're gonna sit out and watch this well not sunset sun's gone but sit out and see how pretty it is at night time with all these nice mountains we've just got up and now we're planning on where to go for today we've got some bad weather rolling in on Monday yeah so we need to go find either an anchorage well not an anchorage really it's not safe but uh, mooring boys or a pontoon that we can stay for at least like four days because it's from Monday to Thursday so I'm gonna see where we can go off today because the weather's not too bad today it's, uh, Scottish weather again so it's just very white and murky but yeah hopefully we'll find somewhere nice just out there that little black dot is a seal and he keeps swimming around the boat then he pops up for a little while it keeps raining so the wet weather gear is on and we're heading over to the Outer Hebrides today so we need to keep shelter somewhere so we're gonna go and have an explore around once we can and then take cover for the storm. Oh they're really close! Oh. They're here! Captain, 
in love that never dies. Lifelong voyage with you. Rapture this heart inside your vessel lines. Let it blossom for you. We just seen some dolphins, so it's super cool and we're really happy. Um, we've got a little bit of wind now, so we're doing four knots yeah, with four knots. eight knots of wind actually available to us. And we're heading off to Loch Maddy. Yeah. Loch Maddy? To Ard Maddy Bay. Ard Maddy Bay. So if it's nice there, we're going to think about grabbing a pontoon for when the storm comes on Monday to Thursday. Mm. have arrived and we're all anchored um, the weather's a bit crappy still so um, I'm out downstairs writing our blog and starting to edit some of the videos together and Matt's gone to look for I don't know what they're called mollusks no maybe not that but he's over on the beach just behind me over there and our anchor's not happy that we're moving 25 meters so I'm gonna have to sort that one out there's Matthew he's in red his little tender's parked up He's been over there for like half an hour now, so he's either got a bucket full or he can't find anything. We'll see. Matthew's back with his catch, his bucket of them. The harvest. Yeah. What are they called? Limpets, I think. So now I've got to read up on how to cook them and make them tasty and not manky. Matthew's cooked his first limpet. He's playing around with it because he's not sure if he wants to eat it yet. No. Not eating it. You've got to now, you've cooked it. The meat's all right. Don't know about it. Be good if you could like remove the shitty bit off. So that's Matthew's review of a limpet. Oh, robbery. Last night we had a little bit of a scare. We was a bit worried about our anchor dragging because um, it kept letting some out. So we were a bit panicky. But it settled down after about an hour and we was watching a film and all of a sudden we heard like a chain letting out loads right behind us and we were thinking well our chain's at the front so I didn't know what it was but we both dropped what we were doing ran upstairs and found found this guy straight behind us not Matt but the big boat so today the storm's rolling in so we're going to head down the lock that way to uh, Loch Maddy and uh, pick up a pontoon ho hopefully and then we'll be there for about three or four days depending on the weather what is going on with our hair um, but hopefully we'll be able to get some sailing done afterwards we've successfully moored to a pontoon in Loch Maddy the winds picked up and we're suspected to get force nines yeah, Force 9's uh, Force 9, so it's uh, kind of nasty weather. It started raining again. But we've, uh, we did the pontoon all right, and this time I didn't fall in or trip over near the rope, so that's uh, good. Would you like to know what Force 9 is? And would you like to know what Force 41 9 is? 41 to 47 knots, or uh, in, miles, in kilometres per hour, that's 76 to 87 kilometres per hour. Not very nice. 
So we've tied up now, we're gonna head out and go and see what's around. We spent the day inside the boat getting things ready and now we're off for a nice meal. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> hit us. It's not very pleasant this morning. We're moored to the pontoon but it's actually quite horrendous. Never keeps pushing out all our fenders so we were up in the middle of last night at three trying to sort fenders and ropes out. I think today we're going to spend in the pub down the road having coffee and drinking whilst we are. It's just terrible over here at the minute. I mean I don't know if you can see out the window but that's actually the pontoon. We're rocking so much and it's only a 4-7 at the minute. We're expecting Force 9 today. Uh, yeah, she's not happy. Let's have a look. <laughs> Even the ferries stopped coming in, so <laughs> shows how bad it is. They're actually shipping people over in their uh, ribs, but they've stopped doing that now as well. So I'm just sitting on here until Mike gets back. Try and sort over and make sure we're all happy before we head over to the pub and get some work done whilst uh, the wind's bad. This is supposed to stay until Thursday now, so we've got three days of this and Nova's really, really not happy. At the minute it's gusting 31 knots. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to go up to 46 today or tomorrow. So it's not going to be that pleasant and I'm not sure we'll be sleeping that much. So the weather's really crappy outside and we're stuck in here and the television just blew up. So Matthew is <laughs> taking the TV to pieces, which is never a good thing because he can never figure out how it goes back together. And we've got to try and figure out what's wrong with it. But at the minute, we have no idea. We managed to get power back to it, but the TV didn't have sound then, so we're a little bit confused. I will fix it. I'll make it better. It will be faster, stronger. Three hours later. Three hours later, it's been five minutes. <laughs> we just seem to have loads of tiny little screws everywhere. But we shall put our faith with Matthew and he's gonna fix it. Maybe. We've been here in Loch Maddy for four days now. Um, the wind's been pretty shocking and Nova's been on her side the most of the time. It's been kind of worrying as well because she kept popping all her fenders out and she's ripped off the metal trim that goes around her but other than that we seem to be all good. The wind's now died down so me and Matt are escaping from the boat for a day. We're going to hike up some of the mountains. And we're having a Scottish snack and it's Blonder. not that windy here because we're sat Bonnet behind caramel. a little rock but other way, well everywhere else is really windy and we couldn't do much filming because it is ridiculously windy and over there is just where Nova is really small Nova at the minute so we're gonna hike back down it says that well there's plenty of deer around here there might be some sea eagles which we haven't actually seen yet and then we're gonna hike back down Go back to Nova. Trees, 
We've just had dinner, we're both knackered, and Matt's out just fixing the side of Nova where she's ripped off the metal trim. So he's filing that down and redoing it. Fun times. Yeah. Join us next week as we leave Loch Maddy, go dinosaur hunting, and get locked out of Nova. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like that, then please go below and give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to see more of our videos, and leave comments with the bits you liked and didn't like to help us make our videos better. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and we have a website too, so below we've put the link. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.